hi to Chaco. So Foggy against Shao KK 0 semifinals. Beautiful, beautiful. The winner of this will play against Chamiko. So, uh, and that's going to be a short finals, of course. Chamiko's just going to tower rush whoever he plays. Because Chamiko's really good at tower rushing Night Elf. And he's really good at tower rushing Orc. Foggy favorite now. Well, against Shao KK, I think so as well. Even though he only has like a 10% win rate against Foggy. Uh, most of those matches were played in like 2016 or something. 2017 maybe, some of them. But Foggy definitely is a much better player than Shao KK right now. And if you're saying Foggy against Jamiko, yeah, Foggy is also the favorite there. Chaco, did you watch the movie A Quiet Place? I was thinking about you during the movie and realized if that movie was a reality, you'd have to stop casting and I felt really sad. I actually just watched the trailer of it yesterday and I just don't think uh, I am going to watch it because I don't watch movies. <laughs> <Get out. laughs> Maybe if Chamiko saw the uh, the replays of Hawk against Foggy, he knows how to beat Foggy. But who do you think will win? Will take this cup? I think Foggy will take it. But that's an easy choice, of course. And anyone could make that choice. You know what? Just to go against the current, I will say Chamiko is gonna win the cup, guys. Uh, yeah, I said it. You guys are gonna be like Chaco. What the fuck? Of course, Chamiko is not gonna beat Foggy. No, it's uh, it's not fun if everyone is saying Foggy is going to win, and then Foggy actually wins. I'll say Chamiko just wins with Tower Rushes. Although Foggy is very good against Tower Rushes. Hmm. Hmm. The Demon Hunter here. He's, uh, he's gonna creep some more. He has a Gloss of Haste and he sells his Mantle of IQ because it's such a shitty, shitty item. Blade Master gets a circlet. He's just creeping. He is just creeping. Blade Master just creeping. Not playing aggressive, not playing defensive. He's just creeping. What if we get a brick instead? Kappa? What? <laughs> a brick? Chaco, you sure this isn't the first time a man has told you that you have a splendid and remarkable overlay? Chaco, I'm sure this isn't the first time. Yeah, I, I know. People tell me this all the time. Foggy gets second place again, I will cry. I mean, it's pretty standard for Foggy. He's like the second place king, guys. He's like the choker. The finals choker. Where's Happy? In Russia. He is in Russia. This blade master is walking around the map. Do we see more grunts? There's a grunt over there. Here we have a grunt over here. Make sure the demon hunter is not going for these uh, these mercenaries. Oh, the grunt walked a bit too far. But he's lucky that the demon hunter doesn't see him. Else the demon hunter could have done a lot of damage to the grunt. Maybe even killed it. Black Master with the uh, berserker going for the renegade wizard. This uh, berserker is just so strong. The grunt has been found out by the has been found by the demon hunter. Blade Master killed. Oh, what a bad item. He couldn't get a worse item. This is the worst one, right? Even the Lionhorn of Doomwind, Lionhorn of Stormwind is better in this matchup. Even the Mantle of IQ is better in this match. Every other item is better in this matchup for Orc. Do you want to go for the Grunt? The Grunt is still alive, but for how long? Demon does have a staff, so he can always staff out. But oh, the Peon block. Wow, Shao KK with the PM block, saving his grunt. You see, Shao KK cares about his grunts. This two bird attack did nothing for KK. Well, it's been creeping. <laughs> it did do something. First of all, no birds were cancelled this game, like uh, you see so often. Second of all, his Blade Master is uh, almost level 3, while the Demon Hunter is only level 2. Are under he didn't put pressure on his opponent, like we uh, often see with the uh, slow attack. But he did creep. And he didn't get his burrow cancelled. You know, if, you, if you're really comfortable in this matchup, or in any matchup, if this is if, uh, if you're playing a matchup where you're just comfortable in, and you think you can just uh, win late game, even with a slight... Or, or without taking, like, an early advantage, if you think, like, and in the end game you can just win, you can do something like a slower tag. And don't lose to uh, like a demon hunter canceling your burrows, like a beast master and demon hunter canceling your tier two, etc. If you just defend against that and you think you can win the late game, yeah, just go, just play defensive, just play a strategy you know that will uh, hold. The blade master creeping to level three, so even if a beast master shows up, the blade master can kill it so fast with level two critical strike. Normally we don't have a level three blade master at this point, so the beast master and the piggies and demon hunter are just too powerful. 
But since we have that level 3 Blade Master now, he goes for level 2 Windwalk because he realizes he doesn't have to defend. Now he can do harassment. He can make sure the Foggy doesn't creep to level 3. So, Shao KK is such a strategic genius. It's insane. Uh, there's a mana burn. The De Blade Master is visible now. Blade Master retreats. TC is out. Tier 2 is up, guys. Have you ever seen this against Foggy? Even Focus cannot get his tier 2 up against... Fo uh, against uh, even Lin cannot get his tier 2 up against Foggy. I mean... But Shao KK? No problem. He gets both tier 2 buildings up. Why? Because he went for a slow attack. So he could creep his Blade Master to level 3. So he uh, had, you know, so much dominance with his hero over these heroes of Foggy. Beautiful fight here. 78 critical strike. Yeah, but he only crept with one gun, so he couldn't he have done that also with one burrow. Yeah, but you know, you know, it is uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Blade Master fighting against the Demon Hunter. The Blade Master takes a bit of damage. But the other grunt was scouting. Right? So uh, if he did a one burrow, but this Blade Master has to retreat. If he did the one burrow, he wouldn't be able to scout this. And then Foggy could have gotten this. And then Foggy's Demon Hunter would have been just as strong as the Blade Master would have. See? It all makes sense. There goes the Piggy. The TC is level 2, the Blade Master level 3. And we have stronger heroes for Shao KK than we have for Foggy. And that's just really good. Really good. Spirit Walkers, Raiders. Yeah. Really good early game for Shao KK. And even you know, even if he could have done it with uh, fast tech, it's just it's just in general, it's just safer, right? It's just safer. You get to this position, you know, maybe more often. We we'll have a demon hunter and a beast master. There's an snare on the druid of the Talon. The druids of the Talon are still adept. And uh, does he get one? This druid of the Talon, the other one dies. This one is dead. This grunt, by the way, super low hit points. Uh, Shao KK does get ensnared, and it dies. Ancient War goes down. There's an 84 critical strike. So the Grunt dying is not that big of a deal. Uh, maybe you just let him die. Wait, did he? It wasn't snared, right? He probably just killed it himself. Because um, a Grunt is really bad late game. So he went or he w he built three Grunts early game, right? Because uh, he did get a Berserker. So. But now he just lets him die. Three grants is pretty standard. <laughs> what item does he get? Another belt of giant strength. Twice the worst item in the game. Meanwhile, Foggy he has a level 3 demon hunter. He has a level 2 beast master. Foggy needs a level 3 beast master to win this game, guys. He needs it. He's, be, he's not that far behind, actually. He's four supply behind. He's one level behind on his beast master. But he's a, uh, you know... Okay, Shao KK goes to 55. I think if Shao KK can fight before there's a level 3 Beastmaster, he can win this game. There's the Info Potion on the Blade Master. He's level 3.5. The TC is level 3. Uh, oh, but look at Foggy. He knows this level 3 level three Beastmaster is key. Meanwhile, the Tinker buying a uh, Healing Scroll. No level 3 yet, though. Okay. And we, if, if they fight here, it's so open. It's a really good position for Shao KK. He uses Speed Scroll. There's not a single tree here in this in the neighborhood. There's Shockwave. He hits a pocket factory as well. And like eight Druids of the Talon. This is perfect. The Blade Master is Cyclone. He needs this. Uh, Shao Kiki needs to kill his pocket factory. Uh, Foggy killing a Raider over here. There goes a Druid of the Talon. Demon Hunter here in the back. Going for the Spirit Walker. We have two Berserkers now. Uh, and Snare here on these uh, Druids of the Talon. We have Berserkers as well. Killing one over there. Uh, the TC is out of mana, of course. Did he just mana burn the illusion? What the fuck? Okay, yeah, I know. Foggy, sometimes uh, life becomes, uh, you know, a little chaotic. And you don't realize which is the real TC anymore. With the real TC standing over there on whole position. Interesting. He's just standing there. <laughs> nice mana burn on the Spirit Walker. He's still, look at this TC. He's just standing there. Blade Master uses uh, Info Potion. And I finally, he's going for the Tinker. Tinker is dead. There's no way to save him. 
And it seems like uh, maybe maybe uh, Shao KK is just the kryptonite night to Foggy because uh, it looks like Shao KK is winning this game. It looks like maybe Shao KK is uh, just too good, guys. Too good. I mean, Demon Hunter is going to die, even though he has a greater healing potion. Uh, there's a snare. <laughs> and snare means that he cannot get away. There's another uh, critical strike. The throw is still possible, especially on this matchup. I mean, it's always possible, but... Some people are more likely to throw than other people. I don't think Shao KK is in particular a thrower. His uh, forearm strength not as powerful. So, um, for example, Fly. Fly is really good at throwing games. Even though he's overall a better player than, than uh, Shao KK. There goes Grunt. This shop is gone. The altar will go as well. I mean, I don't think there's overextension. I just. Fuck, is just dead. Really. He has a Beastmaster. Altar is going down. Do we have pillage? We don't have pillage. Hello, get pillage. Shao KK. Just get pillage. Also, this, one of these peons should have built a shop here. The others could have probably uh, built a burrow. Could have gone for a burrow rush. All the, all, all the burrows going down here. I mean, the moon walls. Blade Master is cycloned. This is really bad for Foggy standards. Maybe he just woke up. Maybe because he was late, right? Maybe he was just sleeping and now he just woke up and he's like he was still dreaming and he was dreaming in 1.29. Yeah, that's it. Maybe his dreams are now 1.29. So he didn't expect uh you know to be playing in this uh, old patch again. And everything is so different. Look, this blade master and the new patch would do exactly the same amount of damage. GG. So KK wins the first game. We have a demon hunter, we have a blade master. Do we have a second burrow? We do have the second burrow. So again, a slow tag. Is he gonna creep heavily? Yes, he's gonna creep heavily. The demon hunter here is also creeping. It's true, I'm married as well. <laughs> there, you got it. Blade master going for the forest tall warlord. That's nice. With the circlet. He's doing so much damage against the warlord. Do you think Nettie's will update to 1.29? Yes, of course. Hello. For sure. In fact, didn't they already say it? I mean, they've always been updating to the newest version. I think the only reason it takes a bit longer with 1.29 is because they uh, there's some more features in included in 1.29, right? Like widescreen, like uh, mana bars, etc. I mean, uh, Nettie's already had mana bars, but we were different. In Nettie's, you couldn't see your opponent's mana bars. Only your, your own. So... To make this all working with whatever they have already, they need to do a bit more work. If it was only balance changes, 1.29 would already be live on uh, Nettie's. Because it's like, just a flick of one switch. Hello. This demon hunter here, Firebrand level 2. This, de this blade mask here. Mogul the Sly. Yes, uh, one for the wind. He's going for the null. Thomas strength. So this blade master is still uh, only level one. This game he's going for the items instead of uh, the XPs. Does he get this item? This first world warlord. He's going for it. He's going for it. While the demon hunter is he? He cannot do any harassment because of this two burrow attack. So good here by Shao KK. The two burrow attack is like new meta, guys. New meta. Still 1.28. We discover new metas. Healing words means that he can just go to the next creep camp and creep this and use a healing word. Maybe use <laughs> use a one of the wind on the level five, so he doesn't take as much damage. A player's forces are under attack. He is going for it. There's healing ward. He could already start creeping it with a uh, one of the wind, but I don't know if you want to use a one of the wind just to creep this a bit earlier. Depends how uh, how much time you think you have. Look at this. Shao Kiki is so good at this game. Uh, it's it's insane. This other grunt, as again, you might say, well. This grunt is not even creeping with him. Well, this grunt, thanks to this grunt, he can creep. Because this grunt is scouting. This grunt knows the demon hunter is over here. So he knows he won't be creep jacked. He can creep so greedily. It's a tom of uh, IQ. This grunt might die, by the way. But, you know, it's still worth it. Still good for Shao KK. Uh, overall. Place down second healing ward. Demon hunter, can he do something here? No, but, I mean, the timing is... Uh, it's... 
Oh, be serious <laughs> right in his face. Hello. Okay, the event is a bit bit too early though, in my opinion. Oh, this is also open. I mean, it's not too early, but it's just like... Shao Cake is just too good at this game. He has prepared for this, and now he's gonna defend. His Blade Master is not level 3 yet, which is... Uh, which means it's gonna be so much more difficult to defend, but now he gets level 3. And he does pick level 2 Windpog. His Beast Theory might be cancelled again, but if it's cancelled early, it's not a big deal. Demon just stops out. There's a Cunt and a Berserker over there. Oh, he used the Wand of the Wind to cancel the Staff Teleportation. Completely forgot about that. And uh, now he has to TP out. There's a Spirit Lodge going up. Beast Theory going up. Oh, Grunt. Okay, never mind. Piggy. Piggy. Okay, Blade Master over here. We'd love to Windwalk again. And this is so important to have this early level 3 Blade Master. My eyes have been opened, guys. My eyes have been opened, thanks to Shao KK. This early level 3 Blade Master is just really good against Night Elves because uh, Night Elves are creeping again nowadays. And normally we see only like level 2 Blade Master right now or level 1 Blade Master, and you cannot really harass the Night Elf from creeping. But uh, Shao KK found the solution, and he surrounds the Demon Hunter, this Berserker here. Is he going to die? The TC wants to make sure he can reach around, but the Beastmaster walking in the way. Uh, do we a shockwave? And a, oh, he's going to die. 35 hit points? Yeah, he's dead, right? He is dead. Bye bye, Demon Hunter. Rawr! Maybe he could have denied it somehow, but I don't know. Maybe we'll the Ancient of War over. Beastmaster still alive, but for how long? Okay, he used all the Wand of the Wind, so no more Wand of the Wind on the Beastmaster to kill him. But this Ancient of War now going down. Tier 2 uh, units going up. This grunt is micro'd out. And this Angel of War goes down. This Druid of the Talon shows up. He's still adapt though. Does he get Master soon? No, he's not the Tree of Eternity yet. This Null Warden dies. <laughs> Strange how KK is so good today. I think it's just like... Um, I think he just figured out like okay this is how i want to play and he's just playing it it's just it's not like his micro is super good you know it's not like his uh i mean it's, it's yeah he just plays nice you know he had a nice strategy he just figured out a nice strategy that works here against foggy and foggy will have to study this and then he will find uh he will learn you know, maybe next time we'll see. We'll see who wins next time. Uh, again, a healing word has to be placed. <laughs> He's creeping so aggressively. Shao KK, his units has been in deep in the red all game long. If at any point uh, Foggy shows up, he could have killed so much like Grunts, Blade Masters, Berserkers, everything. But Shao KK just makes sure, you know, he makes sure that it doesn't happen. Okay, he doesn't make sure this time, but. He got a bit lucky, but you know that's that's uh, part of Worker Three, guys. Getting a bit lucky, especially when you're creeping this aggressively. Like, if you creep aggressively and you're not scouting, you're just flipping a coin in a way, right? Like, it's not 50-50 though. It's more like, right? If you if you're uh, if you're creeping, pays off. If you don't get creep jacked, you get an advantage. Pretty big, uh, you know, not a huge advantage, you get a bit of an advantage. But most of the time you won't be creep jacked. And, but if you do get creep jacked or whatever, you just like, you just lose the game in some uh, some cases. Boots of Crowd to loss. But you only get creep jacked, let's say, one out of five games. So you just say, okay, one out of five games I lose. The other four out of five games, I have a pretty uh, big advantage. But if your opponent knows that you're doing that, of course, they're more likely to creep jack you. And then it's not one out of five. Then it's like, uh, you know, then it's like uh, three out of five or something. Anyway, the Blade Master is flying because we do have Cyclone now. The Demon Hunter got staffed home. There's a Shockwave, kills one Druid of the Talon. Another Druid of the Talon is going down. This Druid of the Talon here. Takes a bit of damage from the Raiders. The Blade Master it gets Cyclone. These Grunts are very uh, easy targets, by the way. No Fairy Fire used on those Grunts, by the way. Two Druids of the Talon are dead. 
Blade Master flying again. These Raiders stay one more due to the talent. The TC is out of mana, even though he's level 3 and powerful. The Beastmaster is still level 2. Is he going to die now? Yeah. The Beastmaster is dead. Foggy has to retreat somehow. And I don't know. Is he dead again? The Demon Hunter has an info potion. But uh, he's probably going to die. Unless the Tinker can buy his stuff. Oh, no. He used the info potion before he got surrounded. That's smart, of course. But then uh, he loses two Druids of the Talon instead. It looks pretty bad for Foggy, guys. It looks like he is dead. It looks like we'll have a Chamiko versus Shao KK finals. Twitch chat knows everything, of course. Twitch chat is like a collective uh, mind. Like what I see Twitch chat as is like, you know, like in the future, there's like a, like a supercomputer, which is not actually a computer. It's just a bunch of brains connected together and they can figure something out together. And uh, that's what I feel Twitch chat is like. It's like a super brain. You guys are a super brain, guys. Serious question. Why do people cancel the buildings early when they see it won't be completed? I always used to used to let it run because I thought it would waste opponent's time. But there must be an advantage to canceling early because pros do it. I'll talk about it in a second. Uh, Shao KK here. Oh, I also thank that one in a second. We have the Blade Master here. Just... Uh, Trying to kill the Demon Hunter. We have a Beastmaster going up. Nice and snare. Can he finish the game here or is he overcommitting? Let's see. He has two Berserkers for Spirit Walkers. Nice Shockwave. Hits a lot of these units. This Pocket Factory should have definitely been focused a little bit with these uh, dudes, uh, these uh, guys. Demon Hunter does die, which is uh, pretty good for Shao KK. Uh, the Tinker is dead. And now... Okay, GG. Okay, so 2-0 for Shao KK. As everyone expected, Kappa. 